Hello folks, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play, and from the look of that interface that just popped up, I'd say we're on Steam. Microsoft Studios. Humble Hearts. Ah, oh, the names. Welcome. One and all. To a blind Let's Play. Of Dust, an Elysian Tale. Oh, I bought this game last year. I don't know, was it last year? Uh, it might have been. But yeah, I've had it for a while, and I kept meaning to record it. You'll forgive my little cold. Well, actually. Alright, quick look at my nose. Uh, yeah, I've been waiting to play this game a while, and I thought, you know what? Today is currently April 5th, 2015. And that means it's Easter today. So, Easter surprise for you guys. I'm doing a new Let's Play. And, uh, yeah, you might have noticed it says A for select and B for cancel. I'm using a controller. Uh, let's go into settings sec. I think it should be pretty normal on most things, although... Make sure that's on, but yeah. And we have auto fire. I'm gonna have that off. There. You can also adjust the HUD, so I mean... Maybe you want to change where things are located. Let's see, that's default. Uh, oh, okay, there we go, so I can make it huge. Good lord. Uh, well, we'll see how it looks in the video, and if it looks too small, then I'll make that HUD bigger. And we'll make sure that uh, the enemy is displayed, so... And there's a how to play as well, if we don't know how to play. But we'll learn soon, we'll learn soon. Uh, actually, I think there might be... I, I don't really know how uh, much on this. Here's the controls, though, so... Which we'll learn. So, without further ado, uh, there is actually... Just auto-saving in addition to me. Let's see, yes, that's right, I forgot. There's 10 slots, so we probably will end up using them all throughout the game, but uh, when you save. But I did actually play through the beginning to make sure that this would record and that it'd be alright, you know, FPS-wise. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, let's 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 get started on Dust, an Elysian Tale. And you can choose between various experiences, so we have Casual. We have normal, it says casual is for uh, young players and casual, obviously. Or those who simply wish to enjoy the store. Easy, settings are enabled with no death penalty. Expect a fair challenge on normal. Uh, increased difficulty recommended for seasoned players of action games. Encounter smarter and tougher enemies. And we have a hardcore for the elite few seek impossible odds. As each encounter becomes a test of will, simply choosing this option to man's respect. We're going to play it on normal. Be safe. I don't know what to expect, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to Our get custom. Our world has fallen to fade. Oh yes, the story. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this our most desperate hour that the greatest of Elysian tales began. Elysian, I'm sorry, I said it wrong. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance, and the soldier showed no mercy. But despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. That's sad. Dust. Dust. Arise. What? Oh. A talking sword. What are you? Only that which you have summoned. 
Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of nice uh, voice acting, if you ask me. Pretty cute so far. This is actually as far as I really played, was through this dialogue here, and then I ended, so... I didn't want to get ahead of myself, I want to be surprised with you guys. Uh, let's see... You said your name is Fidget? I'm sorry, I think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget? Hey, this isn't about me. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I'm... Uh... Calm yourself, Fidget. His name is Dust, and he is the one who woke me from my slumber. So, Fidget, then? That's me. And you're... Dust? It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. Yeah, I guess he's suffering from amnesia. He's kind of a cool-looking warrior, to say the least. Um... No offense, but aren't you a bit, well, small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. I just realized it really doesn't match up. Yeah, you can always go back up to that, I guess. But I just realized it doesn't match on the... <laughs> What we're seeing up close here, and what's in the distance there, in the actual uh, environment of the game, it's a different flying animation. It's kind of funny. So, what is this? Yeah, let's learn what the sword is. I am the blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. <laughs> yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I, I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! Ah... Uh, hang on a well, second. Well, I... All right, all right, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing, you know, whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> what exactly am I doing, Ara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside. And from there you will find a village. That is your first step. I see. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. <laughs> At least he's a nice guy, so... Uh, you use the left trigger... You know, left stick. Trigger stick, whatever you want to call the thing. Or apparently I can do this. We can look up, and we can apparently duck. Uh, let's go this way first. Ooh, we found a treasure key! Um, I don't know what that one is, but... Okay, here's the... I knew there was a button to access the map. From here you can view explored areas with the current region. Within the current region. You can also get a sense of any treasure within the immediate vicinity. Uh, I'd say we still have a lot to learn. But yeah, the right stick, if you press it, gives you the map, so... I just wanted to make sure I remembered that. That was an accidental press when I first discovered it, but since I know it, I'm just gonna make sure you guys know. Everything else, I really don't know, so we're going this way, I guess. A treasure chest! Probably for finding that key. Meanwhile... The Glade. It's a cool name, The Glade. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> uh, dust has an apple.
I wonder what good fidget's gonna be. Alright, so we can press A to jump. And there's actually, uh, you can jump high. Yeah, it looks like you just jump really high. Probably hop down here if we need to. You can look down, you can look up. So we can hop down or we can hop up. And there's animals that seem to be harmless. Alright, so we can press X to begin a melee combo, advance the combo with X and Y. Or you can just rapidly press X. We found some chicken. A healing item has been placed into your quicks item slot. Press the left LB to heal. Though. Uh, left button, I guess you could call it. Or that button to manage your inventory. Ugh. Yeah, I don't really know what button I'm talking about. But I know how to access the inventory. Welcome to your inventory. From this screen, you can manage equipment and items. If your health is low, indicated by the green bar on your hood, you can assign a healing item to the quick item slot and quickly use it in game with LB. Left button. Left trigger button, or whatever. No, well, that's the left trigger, the left button, I guess. Note the context sensitive controls at the bottom of each screen for additional options. So we have, let's see, item, collection of keys, miscellaneous, and story items. We have a treasure key. Worth 3,000, jeez. And a mysterious chicken worth 300, good grief. Found embedded in a wall that's fully cooked and seasoned chicken comes from unknown origins. I'm surprised this thing isn't bad, but yeah, you can see we have various stats. 65 of 80 health, 4 attack, 0 defense, 1 fidget, 1 luck, no luck, excuse me, and 0 gold. And there's experience. Here we have the character. You can assign skill gems acquired by leveling up to improve your attributes. Note that the highest stat must be within 4 gems of your lowest stat. So we have health, attack, defense, and fidget. And we also have the ba these stats. On this page, you can view various gameplay statistics. We're exploring the menu. So here we can see how long, the total completion, world explored, treasure found, max hit chain, enemies vanquished, friends found. Interesting. We have the materials screen, apparently collected from enemies, and we can craft better equipment at a blacksmith. We can sell materials to shops, and once catalog shops will attempt to restock their inventory. Use this to your advantage when materials are scarce. And finally, we also have the quest uh, log. From here, you can view active and completed quests, as well as any notes you've picked up. Alright, so you've woken up in a small glade in the mountains with no memory of your past. An ancient magical blade, Ara, and its guardian, Fidget, have joined with you. With no other path to travel, the road to the east is your only option. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna keep going east. Hmm. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense, and there's something just ahead. Light trigger. Oh, wow. I hate to mess treasure, but I guess we gotta go see what this is. New ability! Well on your way! First achievement! Dash acquired. Dash with left trigger and right trigger. Or R. Dashing uses energy indicated by the flashing light. Oh, by the flaming white bar on your HUD. So, foom. And boom. And it regenerates over time. Oh, wrong one. You can drop through here, hold down to cross crouch and A. <laughs> Looks like it's mostly 2D. You can drop right there. Combo! chicken. Hello, and milk. Uh, oops. Uh, 
Uh, so that's gonna come here. Right? No, must be the quest. No? Ah, right there. Oh, one moment, guys. In ancient times, our greatest possessions and staunchest allies... Staunchest? Staunchest. <laughs> ...were locked away using powerful magic beyond our comprehension. The only way to reclaim these lost treasures is to use the magically attuned keys strewn about our world. I only hope there is enough time to free them all. So, okay. This way. Ah. All right, we found a chest. <laughs> Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key then. And as it turns out, we have a key. So we do this. Whoa. Uh, why? A. A. Why? Oh, wow. That was a fun little game. Oh, I think I failed. X. Oh, I failed. Oh, I keep failing. Get it right this time. B, Y, B. There we go. Woo! All kinds of goodies. A revival stone. Push and turn. Oh, uh, let's take a look. So, I guess that was 20%. So, let's see. A revival stone. A second chance. Did we get any materials? No, did not. No armor, no augments, no rings. You can see the quick item. We have a loot and nut and a feeble fruit. Put that on the mark. That, that's pretty well. Let's see. I guess we can't go that way yet. So. Woo. So off we go this way, I guess. Hmm. Deer. <laughs> I can't cut him. It's like weird. Monsters. Ah! Monsters! <laughs> Calm yourself, fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. first fight that was pretty good Whoa. nobody said anything about monsters strange where did I learn these skills you wield the blade of Ara and with it all the skills imbued therein oh nice uh, hello monsters is that why I summoned you to control this power it is unlikely dust that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons there is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. If we even want to know who we are. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters. <laughs> Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <laughs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them. Oh, so we got some feeble fruits. Alright, so I guess there'll be more monsters to fight. So far, so good. Run to a save monument to auto-save your progress. Poor ass. I'll have to manually save. So it's auto-save. But let's actually see. Oh, and there's a world map, but we can't access it. So here we have the auto-save. Let's save in the first slot. Um, I'd like to call this a session, but I think we'll go ahead one more screen and then we'll come back. Oh. Very impressive. A 
Ugh, <laughs> liking this combat. Whoa, look at all the monsters in this game. I thought this was gonna be more adventure than monsters. Oof, I got hurt. Whoa, no you don't. So, let's see if I hit. Alright, we're all full health again, probably. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! Some of these combat things have been just astonishing. Okay. So, looks like Rising Phoenix is one. Chain broken. Oh, here we go. Ha! I like that one. I'll protect animals, I guess. Already collected 105 gold. Hey, a new ability, maybe? Hold here, Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the dust storm. Ooh. I like it. Hold the secondary attack to perform the dust storm. But beware, skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press the super ballistic fidget action button of power, I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. <laughs> eh, so-so. That was, uh, very pretty. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust. Between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. Alright, well, there's a lot of tutorial. Wow! Oh, by the way, every time I use my power, it'll use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken, and you will lose your bonus experience. All right, I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the pause menu. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. Ah, uh, wow. Oh boy. This is thunder! Pretty well. <laughs> and this has been just impressive. <laughs> Oh, that was close. I don't. Well, 
just want like bonus experience, I guess. That's cool. Ah, another save. I think this will have to be the session for now. Uh, yeah, we can overwrite. So, let's take a look at our map. We can see things. I guess the white dot means the area has been completed. Which makes me think there's still things in the back. Oh, teleport. So I guess you could teleport between these. Well, I think that's gonna do it for now when we come back, which I know we will. Uh, I guess we'll have more miles just to fight, so that's for sure. <laughs> we keep saving. Uh, he's already trying to come up here. Oh, he made it! Looks like we gotta fight each other really fast. Uh, amazing. So, let me save that. So yeah, we'll have more miles just to fight. We've got lots of powers, so this is actually gonna be pretty fun. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video, which will probably be... Oh, it might be tomorrow, but it might be Tuesday. Uh, actually, expect probably Wednesday or Thursday for, uh, more uploads. But, for now, this is Kanyard. Have a good night, day, have a good night. Happy Easter, everybody. Hope you all have a good Easter, and, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, Jesus Christ risen today, I believe this is what it is, right? I think so. <laughs> if I remember correctly. So I will see you later. Happy Easter. Enjoy your candy. <laughs>